Let's turn now to Latasha Brown, the co-founder of Black Voters Matter. Latasha, always good to have you. Good to see you again. Um, I want to talk about um, uh, Senator Warnock in a moment, but let me start with what uh, Herschel Walker's son, Christian, tweeted last night as I entree into the conversation. Republicans say we don't play identity politics, and then you ran this man mainly because he was the same skin color as opponent with no background other than football, a boring old Republican could have won. I checked with our team who, who worked this uh, campaign, this election for months, and they say that they saw no targeted Walker outreach to black voters. None. The strategy must have been, I'm black, they will come. Absolutely. You know, I think that was part of the reason what actually drove black voters, that it was actually insulting that the Republicans thought that all they had to do was pick somebody to pluck a man, a black man who had been an athlete and had been popular in his heydays and wrote, run him for office. And that would be enough. And then, and also plan, I think if you recall, right prior to um, in the midterms, uh, plant this narrative that black men were dis disenchanted with the Democratic Party. And I think that they thought that those two strategies combined together was actually going to lead to people just um, voting for Herschel Walker and that, in fact, that he would actually pull black voters to the ticket. And we saw last night that that was absolutely not the case. Hmm. We saw that Trump in 2020, he earned 11 percent of black voter support in Georgia. If there had been a concerted effort to go into DeKalb County, into Fulton County and target black voters, do you think that he could have gotten 11 percent of the black vote, Herschel Walker? You know, I'm not sure about that, because I think that Herschel Walker brought another level of baggage with him as well. I think that on some level, Herschel Walker did some things that actually turned the black community off and black voters off. And so mm. while I certainly think he may have been able to get one or two more points, you know, just recently, a few days ago, at his um, at, and a week ago that he referred to himself as he, he said that he was called a coon and that a coon is one of the most smart is the smartest animal out there. That's a very racist, derogatory term that has been hurled at black people in the South that we don't take well at lightly of and people were very upset but very embarrassed and had very strong opinions of not wanting Herschel Walker to represent represent Georgia or particularly represent our community. So I think that he had some mm. other elements that worked <clears throat> against him. He also said that racism wasn't that bad. He mim minimized, right, the impacts of racism. And I think all of those things played into why black voters overwhelmingly voted against him. I had not heard that uh, Kuhn compliment uh, remark uh, in the campaign. Let me ask you about Senator Warnock now. And this is a question I put to Abby Phillip at the top of the show. Um, is this uh, not a binary choice here, but what's the driving force? More about what Senator Warnock did, what Democrats did, or about what Herschel Walker did not do and who he is not? You know, I think there were three quick things I'll say that one, I think this was a around walk, I, the difference between Walker and Wal, Warnock as candidates. I think Warnock had shown himself that he <coughs> actually had been a candidate that stood with the community, that had been a, a, a vocal advocate for voting rights and other issues for our community. And I, he certainly had, was a favorite son from Georgia. So I think that that was one element. A second element, I think that you saw a backlash from the voter suppression, that when you look at even the difference, there's like a 97,000. Uh, point difference, vote difference between Walker and Warnock. When you look at on election day, on that Saturday, when the Republicans, the Secretary of State, wanted to prevent fr from uh, us from having Saturday voting, there were only nine, over 90,000 votes that were cast that day, right, alone. And so you could, I think that there was a backlash from that. And the third thing, is black voters are sophisticated voters. We have real issues and real needs that we need to be addressed. And it was, it, it was very insulting that there was a candidate that didn't speak to it. We didn't know it's position on anything really other than how he felt about vampires and werewolves and that he was going to plan on supporting a national abortion ban. All right. Latasha Brown, always good to have you. Thank you. Well, Herschel Walker